Welcome to the last episode of the Vlogmas for 2023. It is both a relief and very sad to see this end. I've had so much fun doing Vlogmas for you this year. And I must say that the response I have gotten has just been so warm and really just so much more than I could have ever uh, anticipated or um, expected. So I'm just so grateful that so many of you watched Vlogmas this year. I've gotten so many new viewers and for you, I'm so thankful that you decided to choose my Vlogmas because there are so many Vlogmas out there. So for you to choose mine and hang out with me during December, it's just the biggest compliment and I thank you so much for doing that. Uh, that being said, Kemajon is here to stay. So uh, uh, in the beginning of January, we will have a new regular episode of the Kemajon podcast. We arrived back from my parents' place uh, a few hours ago and we have unpacked the car and we went to the grocery to get groceries because after spending almost four days there, the kitchen was empty. So a uh, vacuum cleaner has done its job and the sun is shining and uh, I just have that urge to just kind of clean up everything and make sure everything is nice and tidy and then I can fully sit somewhere and knit or whatever I want to do today and just relax. We have no plans. Uh, it's just having a friend over later. Doesn't, uh, doesn't have anything to do with me. So I have this day uh, entirely to myself. And that is so lovely. We had a very Merry Christmas. It's spent with my mom and dad and Esther and my uh, auntie and uncle. And we had a lovely day. And yeah, we spent three days with my mom and dad. So. When you're 46 and spend three, three days with your mom and dad, it's fine to go back <laughs> on day four. But it was really nice to uh, have the time to just kind of chill and just hang out. And Esther and I was watching a movie and doing the board games and stuff. Just that was really, that was really nice to not, usually when we visit, with, there's a plan and then we stay and then we spend maybe one night and then we leave. So just that feeling of just kind of settling was very nice. 
I did not open Advents. I did bring them, but I just never, I really, really didn't feel like filming very much. I just really wanted just to be present. So you got a little snips from Christmas Eve and uh, the next day we didn't do much. So that was like, I think I had <laughs> a total of four minutes of content from Christmas Eve and I think that's okay. So um, number 24 is interior. Um, an ex of the Brundums, and that is uh, NS Parents. And that's number 24. I never put a number on this, but uh, maybe I should have. Uh, but on the other side, people could do what they want with the big one. It was, I, I thought it would be for the 25th because uh, lo, a lot of uh, people outside of Denmark actually only spent, not only, but they opened presents on the 25th. So I thought that was number 25. I'll open that after. Let's open this one first. It is here and I will put the picture here and I will not forget this time <laughs> and Provelbo Wow that is beautiful look at this one stunning got an aqua green very pretty and number 25 i picked out the first 24 uh, paintings to do for the advent and then i just couldn't find the perfect painting for number uh, 25 and when lars and i visited the skein museum i was walking around looking on all the paintings and uh, was really hoping that i would find a picture that would just be the one that would speak to me and be number 25 and when i saw this painting at the museum i was like this is it. This is uh, this is the perfect painting. Let me show you the yarn first. This is the yarn. Variegated, deep red. Not a color that I usually go to, but I just wanted to do something. Well, actually, the painting was kind of the reason why I picked this, and I just thought it was perfect for Christmas. So let me show you the picture here. And having it, one thing is that I find the perfect painting, and I think the colors of the painting was perfect, and then the woman is knitting. And the painting is even called Knitting Woman Evening Light. I mean... It doesn't get any more perfect than that. So that's it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with mine. I was uh, thinking that when I'm done with the stripes on my blanket and then for uh, once they're done, I will do a huge amount of white and then maybe the last corner, I will do this red one. But I really, I really haven't decided yet. So we will see. Uh, we'll see about that. That was all the minis. I finished Esther's mittens, not on the 24th, but I did finish those yesterday. And I have used my uh, alpaca deluxe in the elephant and the undyed together. And uh, if you buy these two skeins, there'll be enough for a pair of mittens and a hat, and maybe even another pair of mittens or another hat, because there's, a, there's actually uh, yeah, yarn for both. So uh, they turned out nice. They just need a little wash and a little block. And then they are complete. Felt good to be done with those. And once I completed them yesterday, I attached a new skein to my Anna Anka blanket, which was this yellow and green one. And I have no clue how many minis I have used so far. Okay, so this was number 10. So I'm almost halfway with the minis. And I'm just going to keep going until this side has the, the width um, that I want for the blanket. And I haven't decided that yet. I'll just measure every now and then. I'm, I'm, I think like 120 centimeters is what I'm going for. So when I have 120 centimeters this way, I will only do increases on one side. So instead of doing 
uh, an increase on every <laughs> in the beginning of every row I would only do the increases in the beginning of every other row so and then do huge wide chunk and then we will see what happens but I'm enjoying I'm really enjoying that knit and also I'll be working a little bit on my anthology throw but I haven't done any progress on that while I was at my parents house so vlogmas is over I will be uploading this uh, today on the 26th and uh, I will see you back here on the channel in the new year. I'm thinking the first Friday in January we will have a regular episode of the Camp Daily Podcast available for you here on the channel and uh, I think I'll just do a little introduction because I've gotten so many new followers so thank you for that. Thank you for following me here on um, YouTube. Or subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I totally appreciate that. I also have an Instagram. Everything is happening on my Instagram. That is where I'm the most active. If, if you want to know what's going on or anything new or stuff like that, go to my Instagram. I try to do the newsletter. Um, I do that for every new um, yarn club or anything like that. I, I always do the, the newsletter. But if you really want to know what's going on and see the yarn before anyone else, Instagram is the place to be and sometimes it's fast the Tanzania yarn sold out in a day I will do more I don't know if I'll go to the studio between Christmas and the new year but if I do I will do another batch of the Tanzania yarn I'll do eight more skeins and once and I will donate the profit from those and then after that I will still dye Tanzania yarn but I'll not be donating anymore to the school because the Nomi will be back from Tanzania and uh, there's no way we can Get the money to the school so after that you're just supporting me <laughs> and yeah i think i think that's it for now so thank you so much for um joining me here on vlogmas and thank you for all your comments and all your love i have appreciated that so much and i've had so much fun so i'll see you in the new year so merry christmas and happy new year to everyone and i'll see you take care bye